Hey guys, welcome back to the Invincible. My name is Twitchy, playing the role of Yasna, the astrobiologist. We're on a desert planet. We don't know what's going on. We found some bad guys from the other faction, but they're all dead now, turned on by their own machines. Normally, I'm pretty good at calling when the uh, the checkpoints are, but today, today it turns out that I've got to do a thing that we did last time. So I'm just going to quickly nail through that, and I'll see you after the the sped up process. Last time in these records, we discovered that the bad guys, oh, the other faction, I don't like really calling them bad guys, had come out to explore this area, but their own equipment had turned on them, had destroyed them, had done bad, bad things. And indeed, it's that one right there. It could very well target us at any moment. There's a whole lot has gone down here. The, the other faction came along they found some stuff in the hole the anti-mat was trying to dig for them sorry i'm just going to talk all over them because we did this last time uh i'm going to go check it out oh, no i hear no objection yeah he's not going to object why would he object I know you'll do it anyway. He, I, I, it's true. I will totally do it anyway. Uh, we're going to have a quick look through this tunnel just to try and get our bearings again. Because on the other side, we've got ourselves a, uh, a mobile base here. Unfortunately, I can't actually make my way into the mobile base. It makes me kind of sad that we didn't choose this way to go in the first place. But that's fine. The um, the Alliance, the these guys whose machine is this. Yeah, I'll take a note of this. Thank you very much. Uh, the Alliance, who uh, have brought all these machines, dug their way in into there and uh, extracted something I'm gonna use the word extract extracted something from the tunnel at that point these machines turned upon them I feel like this means that I'm going inside the tunnel what, what else am I gonna do welcome to the thriller games this is what happens when you when you find something bad you walk towards it yes logical exactly what I would do in real life uh, I'm hearing some noise I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel Something's still active. Breaking up with the the astronaut. Yeah, that that one. I can't. I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. What are you saying? Breaking up. It, we're we're deep underground. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's I'm hearing. Coming at me. It's just a robot. Huh. It's a robot. Carrying something. I think we're alright. I, I don't think this is a military. Well, I mean, it is a military robot, but I don't think it's a, like a death bot, you know? Uh, I think we're. Oh, am I passing out again? Walt, inside a cave. Yeah, can you hear me? Just oh. about. Copy that. Uh, I don't feel too. I feel terrible. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Look at this screen. <laughs> bursting from pressure. Breathe. Can I walk away from the robot? Did walking away from the robot help? He's no. been walking around in circles. No. Look, 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 look. We've got path on the floor. All right. Can you tell me what's in there? In where? Oh, just around? I mean, we've got a robot. It seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. Look, we've been walking this what? same path. Hurrying boxes. Round and round in circles. One, but never left. Take Why a note. Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. I'm going to go with, you know when ants are following each other's pheromones and they lose the trail back to the uh, back to the nest and then they end up walking around. So this feels like a death spiral. Um, let's talk about metal bushes. Metal bushes. Yeah, kind of. Let's have a look over. Oh, oh I, I had a, there, this one. Bear bushes. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. <laughs> So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Maybe? May oh, that would be bad if they're messing around with these, uh, these plants. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. I'm not getting it off this Those robot. Fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve it's them It's an enemy, it enemy It would be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. Maybe we could open I'll it. I'll closer first. Hello, search the location. I mean, I think I'm already doing quite good at searching the location. Let's have a look inside these boxes over here, see what we've got. We've got like a specimen container, we've got ourselves... Oh, it's one of those things you grab dogs with, right? You put it around its neck and, and, and drag it around. Uh, don't, don't do that to a dog. That's a bad, bad idea. You, you wonder why these savage dogs are savage when you're like trying to choke them all the time. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing anything else to be, to be dealing with in here. Let's just like search the location. Uh, I guess we're going deeper. 
deeper underground, no less. Um, okay, let, let's let's see what we can find. I kind of want to climb up on this rock to have my little Simba moment. Yes, everything the light touches. Uh, but let's go over this way and see if we can find just... I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why I'm walking deeper within what feels like death. Let, let's be honest, this is not going to end well for Yasna here. Or myself, as I suppose I am indeed playing the role of Yasna. Oh, oh, it'll flash it red again. Uh, my my impulse every time something goes wrong like that is to start backing up. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I sure have. Uh, what have we got? Something to focus on? Can we can we zoom in closer? Definitely need that zoom. Metal wall. I think that crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. What lies beneath? What a phrase! What a phrase! Yes, a metal interior. Okay, well, what, what is... I mean, we're still trying to figure out whether this is life or something built by... Oh, ah, well, that's definitely not life. That is death. What what have we got here? Hello? Which crew are you on? Can I... Can I... Why, why can I not activate? You, you saw the, the hand come up and then disappear, right? There. Okay. Right there. <laughs> that little bit of targeting issues there, but it's no problem. Hello? Are you human? Uh, yeah, he looks human. Okay, that that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll go with that. Can we look in the face? Hello? Have we got a name? Um, n n oh, I can't see it. Hat, 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 hat key? Something like that? Maybe an H? H-A-T-K-E? Something like that? So I, can't, I can't pronounce it. Whatever it is. Let's again look at this. It's the same wall, right? Can, I can't, I'm clicking and it's not telling me anything. Okay, let, let's try getting close. Oh. Uh... Uh, it, it's it's a rock face. Am I supposed to do anything with this? Am I supposed to look from a distance? Let's get a new focus. Okay, I'm not I'm not seeing what to do here. I'm not seeing what to do. We've got a body. We've got this. Surely I look from the body position and it tells me something about the place. I, I'm not getting any any real stuff here. Um, may, maybe there's something that I'm missing out on. Maybe not. I was kind of hoping that we'd just walk down here. Hmm. Let's go back and have a look. Let's go back and have a look at the robot again. Because we, we've had things like this before that we've not been able to interact with, and it's just a looker. So I, I think we'll take that for mo for now. If I go back and there's nothing to do with the robot, then we will, of course, come back and poke at this a little bit more. But I found nothing but a dead end this way. Uh, so here's some more storage materials. That's bright. Oh, oh man. Could, could we... Could we ease up on the amount of sun glare here if, if we could maybe hold your 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 arm up to one step at a time yes one step at a time to cut down on the glare is what i was trying to say one step at a time would be great so we've got the container i don't i don't know where else it wants me to go i'm gonna have a little explore for a little bit and uh, if i find something then i'll let you know what happens if i just stand here it pushes me it's pushing me in a bad way as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna have a little explore around. When I find stuff, I'll let you know. Okay, first thing, I can't go back, so I'm not, I'm not leaving. Time seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. It does. I got my so metal detector sand. out. You're so tired, Yasna. I'm very tired. I've been on this planet for some, desiccator. some time, some time. Metal detector doesn't seem to be teaching me anything that I don't already know, though. Show me where some some nice structures are underneath the rock that we can't actually get to. Okay, let's put the metal detector away and get the tracker out instead. So we got we got a double play. So this is this is this. Ooh, behind me. Wait, what? Where's this pin going for? Something here? I, I've got a feeling it's headed for this person, but it, it, honestly, the the tracking. Um, should we say resolution seems to be pretty poor. It really is like here, right, right here, but it doesn't look to be anything I can interact with. <sighs> Whilst traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit it's an interesting thought, but quite disturbing. That, that is a disturbing thought, but also didn't really say anything. Um, that's Batki, maybe, is the name. Is that B? I thought it was an R for a moment. It's kind of hard to make out. I don't know if there's anything that I'm really supposed to be doing here. kind of has to be this. It's the only thing with a, with a signal on it, but I, I cannot get to it. 
Oh, there we go. Zooming in more. Are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. What's what's tissue-like here? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. It's a very so, succinct way of putting it. All the bushes it. in this area, and there are plenty of them, as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Should I? Should I take a closer look at the thing that seems to be killing everything? Is that really what you want me to do? I'm not sure about that, mate. Um. Can you please check them, yes, sir? How? How am I checking? How? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. I already did that. I literally got the metal detector out earlier. Give me a sec. What do you want me to look at? Uh, so here, underground connections. Everything matches. There's metal all around. Metal all the way down. The bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. So similar. To what? To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. Yeah, we've got the stuff underground. Dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Like, like fungus? Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Yes, I think I am. And the old one used to be alive. We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I do say that as a biologist. Have you mentioned cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies? Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. Are you abandoning your profession? Sort what of. you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. You know, when you find stuff that can't be explained, sometimes you have Shit. to figure out the other explanation. I can't handle it anymore. What? What's going on? Why, why can't I handle this? What is happening? Did I just pull my screen down? Oh, I've woken up somewhere else. Am I am I really passing out again to wake up somewhere else again? Is this is this? Oh, there's the robot. I need to stop moving with my eyes. Look, oh, back off with the robot. <laughs> don't don't get walking over. By, walking over? Yeah, walking over. Don't get walking over by the robot. That that would be bad. That would be bad. Follow the Arctan. I will, as soon as my consciousness returns to my physical being, I will be out, up and out of here. But right now, I seem to be a little bit fuzzy. The robot, the robot disappeared. has disappeared. Must have broken its loop. I didn't. I don't think I did. Must have done something. Never mind. We're trying to locate it. I but don't the like the astrogator. I've got to say. Uh, I found the robot. Have I? Have it hasn't I? Gone far. Good. Please follow it. Why can't I run through the tunnel? I've got the shift button held down. I am pressing it for all I am worth. Yet still, Yasna walks. I, I, there's a there's a um, a good poem or something there. Yasna walks. All right. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll we'll think about that as we carry on. But look at this robot. Where is it going? Where's it taking the? How did it go so far? Just in the time I looked there. Oh no, the anti mats up. Oh, this is not good. No, the anti mat. I'm trying. It's not going to kill me. It's going to kill it. Oh. I'm okay. Checking the right. I don't think it's going to kill me. Oh, um. Thank you for support. The probe won't hurt me. Please take care of cool. Do you hear? Finding the best medics. Yasna, what do you? What? There's not. This is not the end. I'm not going to give up. I am about to get shot by antimatter beam, though. I'm a bit scared of that. Am I right? I think I'm okay. Yeah, I know that. Wait, what did you say? How did I survive? No, wait, wait, wait. Let's go on to his deathbed confession. You had a choice. Yeah, what? Your life. If you could reject it, why didn't you? Yeah, what's up with that? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Uh, safe enough. Safe enough to hear what you just said, mate. He decided not to shoot me after all. 
Because I'm not carrying the tech, continue, right? <clears throat> I'm all is. Yeah. If you will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. We were doing That's well. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yep. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. Talk to the crew. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. That's good, because I'm not going to. Merit can't forgive you. Yeah. Merit? She can no Talk about the dead crew members. <laughs> I'm fully aware. Yeah, actually, I bet he is. Heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, if I may, I would suggest watching your next steps. I mean, you are already I I watching my next steps. Slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. How we can aid them. How can we aid them? Okay, all right, there's some slides on the floor that I've been ignoring during that whole chat. Also, told you the astrogator was... Anyway, uh, let's pick these up. I mean, I c can we blame him, really? It's just standard human greed. I mean, I, I don't know. We, we should we should have account for this. So we see the robot taking stuff out. We've got that box around them again. Like, there's a, an image recognition going on there. Okay, that's a thing. Um, it got blown up. We watched that blo get blown up, so we know that that's, that's also a thing. Then if we go on to me, because this is what we're going to see next... I've got the box. I've also I'm on I'm on my knees. No, is that it? Okay. Okay, that, that was quite intense. I have a we're in the dark. We are in the dark. No, no, look, we bright have sunlight. To find a way. Agreed. You should move on. Oh, that's not quite what I meant. But yeah, I probably should. Yeah, probably, probably. So my, I I am definitely leaning on the the explanation that this guy has been taken over by another faction like a second faction out there who doesn't want the metal alien to spread i think i think that's what's going on just kind of like taking random look at this beam of scorched sand that is crazy is this like glowing hot glass now is that is that what's going on here let's look at the wrecked robot for now you can forget about the research material yeah it's gone the only thing left of the arctan is its feet considering all the factors I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. I would assume that. Sorry, the guard account was going nuts and backing up. The first anti-rat told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. Should be a valuable source of information. Where's the probe, though? And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Okay, so rover on... I'm going to pull my tracker out. We, we've seen very... What's this one? Is there a dead body over here? I think there's a dead body. Yeah, we've, we've seen this before. I didn't take the note of it, though, so we should do that. And we've seen this one over here before. Let, let's go and... Uh, Anti-mat in the way. Uh, let's go over here and... Have I taken note of this? Uh, yes, it looks like I have. But then, the end of last episode, you may have caught it, was a little cut in at the very, very end, just before I said goodbye. We found ourselves this little beep... Little beep blip on the tracker over here i'm gonna go through the freshly dug wall like surely this is like radiation central here uh there's a bunch of rovers over there oh my gosh are we about to get into it are we about to find out some real stories some actual like tellings of what has been going on i don't think so i'll take note of that thank you very much we've got um what what's this can i interact with this take note of that i don't know what it is i'm taking note of i'm gonna press the journal uh open that up all terrain ro oh it's the things that i'm um like here's the robots that left here are all terrain robots. just one it's worth checking them okay and then these are the peoples uh we've we found that one we found hoffman um, okay, all right, all right. The, these are we're still missing half the people, but obviously, half the people. We've only found two of the many rovers. Okay, this is very interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that my map was being updated like this. Okay, that that's cool. That's cool. That is very, very cool. Um, we we shall definitely keep note if we can. Oh, what what are you? Hello, wipe that off. Uh, is there a body in there? I'm, I'm really looking for bodies. There is a body there. I think I think I actually already got the name and number off of them through the 
through the roof. Was that was that what this was? Yeah, okay. I thought <laughs> I thought that was a lamp hanging from the ceiling. It's not. That's a visor and like an air pack and this is his helmet. Okay, all right. That was Mmm, dead bodies, dead bodies everywhere. It's exactly what you want to find on an alien planet, isn't it? Uh, so we've got ourselves a rover. Is it my rover? You admire it's not a my beautiful rover. view. An hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Yeah, it's that very Does we just poetic. Feel like a hot stove? Does it Sometimes. feel like a hot stove? I'm on a desert. Of course it feels like a hot stove. Uh, ATR-12, we found another one of the rovers here. That's nice, that's nice. Hey, corpse? I found another body in the rover's cabin. Who's? I'm afraid it won't be the last, Doctor. It won't. Does the body make it difficult to access the recorder? Uh, I can get him from the other side. So... In we go. No, it doesn't make it difficult for me, as you put it, sir. Huh. That wasn't difficult. It's right there. Okay, well, in we go. Just, just going to sit next to the dead body. You know, no problem. Can I just open the door... Push it out. Is that is that a thing we can do? I've got a key in the data recorder this time. Okay, that's nice. Let's just open that up. Um, Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Well, they didn't know anybody was on the planet, did they? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? Uh, we turn from record to whatever that one is to play. Okay, and what have we got? We're going to get some info dump right so, here. Let's hear it. Let's do it. What have we got? Hello, base. Hello. This is Antka. Antica, hello, that's hello, how we say it. Uh, Tesla here. Uh, I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent we access to the... We can, but I'm kind of interested. Research. Now we're securing the first transport. That blood. Dr. Oh. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. All of about course. the updates. Over and out. Ah, th there's more. Of course there's more. There's Please. always Come more. In. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Test luck here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Sort of? Oh. I'm listening. Everyone's listening. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Highly advanced. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. Wow. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then, and then? Move the a question. Of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated, and this is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. I've not seen That's anything floating in there. The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like What's flying? Mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Oh, they are called Call crystals. Whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry. Resembling the letter Y. What creatures? We haven't seen any creatures. Connecting in a central bulge. Black as cold in direct light. Shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Horrific. It's Markovnik there. The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? We need more stuff to get out of here, right? What's the size of flies? It's not finished. Never finished. finished. Let's keep going. Hello, convoy. Hey, Toulouse. Anka, come in. Tes Tes Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Antke? We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets it Leave does. Leave the material behind and return to the base. <sighs> Why? It's dangerous. What Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. And they're going to have left Same with the point. stuff, right? Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines. Even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. Crazy. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. 
The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. Yeah, AM the field. field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Yes. Now, at first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. Oh yeah, the CIA found out if you pump people full of magnetic waves you can turn off their objection centers, which is particularly helpful for them. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. It was, there was a whole TED talk about it. It was such great. Such helpless, vulnerable, like a baby. They don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? Like from the beginning. It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it, and when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. I don't want to go anywhere near them. What? <laughs> Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. What a terrible idea. Also, like, the time's been ticking up the whole time we've been here. It's currently uh, 11.38. Uh, what what a morning. What a morning. Do I turn the radar on? Do I turn the radio on? Do I open it? I'm going to open up this panel first. I think that's probably the way. What have we got on here? There's a couple of buttons that don't seem to do anything. I don't know if I want to press the... Uh, all right. Let's go with the radio. Let's turn the radio on. Static on channel one. Base two. Static here as well. Three. More static. Four. It's still kind of static. Five. The static's gone. But it's also not doing anything. Let's turn the radar on. I think that I think that's cool. Radar on. Sa oh, no, 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 that, that one there. Sound on. I'm not hearing anything. All right, I'm going to take a note of who this is. Dougie? Something I like that? I heard that the difference between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you talk about, like, relativity and stuff like that, it's really hard to say what one thing happens before the other. So how can you say the future doesn't exist, you know? Turn the light on. Did that do anything for me? I don't think that did anything for me. Turn it on the base signal. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can leave. I think we have uh, got this looked through. Got ourselves a little checkpoint. So I think with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to find out... Wait, how do I, how do I make this focus here? That's a zoom. There we go. Well, we're going to find out what's happened to the entire convoy. Uh... Dob Dobrov Dob Dobrik I, I don't know how to pronounce those because it's all in Cyrillic and uh, that's I, I can't do that but I will see you then when we're gonna do that bye.